From messages found on the $1 bill to microorganisms that lurk around on our cash, here are 16 things you didn't know about U.S. money. Number 16. The pennies aren't worth it. Pennies just seem to be taking up space in our pockets, and it really makes more sense to get rid of them. In fact, there was a huge debate that took place about eliminating the penny in the U.S. as a form of currency. It would really keep things a lot simpler. Nickels would still be used, but as the lowest value coin. Pennies actually cost more than a penny to produce, which is kind of weird if you think about it. Each penny is actually valued at 1.4 cents. You could technically make a decent amount of money if you had a ton of pennies and a machine to melt them down, although that would be illegal. There are even arguments that the zinc in the pennies can be harmful to humans. The people who are for the pennies feel as though this would change too many things and essentially take money from the poor. Number 15, 9.7 tons of ink. Printing money on paper actually does cost a decent amount of money, probably more than you think. Ever try buying a bunch of printer ink before? That stuff is expensive, and the government goes through about 9.7 tons of ink each day, making paper money. That's about the same as three cars. Still though, just one $100 bill only costs 12.3 cents each, so there's still profit to be made. Number 14, the gambling business. Each year, many people come to Las Vegas and other cities around the world to try to strike it rich. People throw cash around like it's no big deal, and you can expect to see some serious stacks behind the cage where they pay the players. But how lucrative is this industry? In fact, extremely profitable. Gambling generates more revenue than the movie industry, theme parks, professional sports, cruise ships, and recorded music combined. Gambling brings in roughly $34.6 billion each year. You can bet your money safely that the casinos aren't going anywhere. Number 13. Largest Bill Printed in the U.S. So we all know the largest bill currently in circulation is a $100 bill, but there were plans on making larger ones. In fact, the largest bill ever printed in the U.S. was the $100,000 bill. It was issued in 1934 and was a golden certificate that you see in this photo. These notes didn't circulate among the general public, as you'd probably expect. The bill featured President Woodrow Wilson. During World War II, Hungary had printed a quintillion pango note. In case you were wondering, that's about a billion billions. Hungary's debt doubled nearly every 15 minutes during this time. It almost makes it impossible to keep making bank notes like that. Number 12. Contaminated Currency Paper currency is one of the grossest things out there on a microbiological point of view. A group of researchers in 2002 found out there was bacteria on nearly 94% of all paper bills. This might not seem like a big deal, and you probably already know that bacteria is just about everywhere, but 7% of the ones that had bacteria contain harmful microorganisms that can actually make you sick. Although credit and debit cards are becoming more and more popular, you still pretty much come into contact with some cash at least one point in time during the day. Who knows where those dollar bills have been? Number 11. The Life of the Dollar Bill if you think about all the crazy places a $1 bill might go, and how many times it gets passed around, you'd have to wonder how long until it gets completely lost or someone accidentally rips it. It's believed that a dollar bill lasts for an average of 6 years before it mysteriously disappears or gets ripped. The bills don't really tear that easily either, and they're likely to be folded up to 8,000 times before they eventually tear. Number 10. Virtual Money Although normally we might think we have a ton of money in the bank, it's not exactly physical money. A large majority of the money we own is actually digital money. In fact, 92% of the U.S. currency in circulation now is digital. The money in your bank is just a bunch of numbers in a computer, and people don't always realize that our electrical grid can be quite fragile. The electrical systems that provide us with energy can be vulnerable to things such as solar flares, and if something were to happen to the grid, we'd all be completely broke. That's why it might be a good idea to store some cash. Number 9. Counterfeit Cash In case you're wondering which country produces the most counterfeit cash, that would be North Korea. They began creating what's known as super notes, which are extremely difficult to tell the difference between the real deal. This appears to be a government operation in order to bring a collapse to the American economy. At an undisclosed location, most likely in the capital of Pyongyang, lies a mysterious rumored headquarter called Room 39. They're supposed to be in charge of North Korea's underground activities, and that's probably where they're making this currency. They're also in charge of gathering foreign currency in whatever way possible. Some believe that North Korea funds their nuclear program with counterfeit money. Number 8. Coca-Cola Money 
the Coca-Cola brand is worth an estimated $74 billion. That's more than Budweiser, Pepsi, Starbucks, and Red Bull combined. If Coca-Cola were a country, they would actually have a higher GDP and a better economy than the entire country of Costa Rica. They'd also be the 84th most profitable country in the world. Although recently, Pepsi has been slightly more favorable, Coca-Cola spends more money advertising than Microsoft and Apple combined. It's estimated that 1.8 billion Coke bottles are sold each day and that their entire enterprise is worth an estimated $189.2 billion, including all the various drinks they sell. Number 7. The Great Seal and Dollar Bill some believe that any doubts one might have about our founding fathers having a role in the Freemasons can be simply solved by taking a look at our money and at our great seal. It's a well-known fact that 13 and 33 are basically sacred numbers to the Freemasons, and we can come across these numbers eerily often when taking a look. First, we'll notice the eagle holding on to 13 arrows, and there's 13 leaves on the olive branch. Next, there's 13 six-sided stars, creating a large six-sided star. One six-sided star in Mason tradition represented the heavens. To the left, you'll notice Anuit Coptus, which has 13 letters over Novus Ordo Seclorum. This doesn't have 13 letters, but if you look closely, it does mean New World Order. Take the six-pointed star on the right side and place it over the symbol on the left. You'll notice the five points of the star select five letters, A, S, N, O, and M. Rearrange those letters and it spells out Mason. As far as the eye on the money goes, this is actually a Freemason symbol as well. This represents how the organization is always watching over each other and revealing secrets about the Freemasons will be spotted by the all-seeing eye. In case you were wondering, the original Illuminati symbol was actually an owl. Number 6. Two dollars a day. Can you imagine only trying to survive off of $2 a day? It's too much of a reality for millions of Americans, and for many of us, it would be difficult to imagine. That's basically like a half gallon of milk or a couple sandwiches at McDonald's each day. Food stamps at this point becomes very valuable and a part of their survival. It also becomes difficult to afford proper clothing for a job interview. This is where resorting to more legal ways of obtaining money becomes necessary. If you're not sure what it's like, try walking a day in their shoes and only buy stuff worth $2 to get you through the day. There's also a book out there called $2 a Day, Living on Almost Nothing in America. Number 5. Making Money Don't you wish you had a printing press at your home and you can just make all the money you want? During 2014, the Bureau of Engraving and Printing delivered 6.6 .6 billion banknotes that year, worth about 560 million each day. Think about that for a second. That's a lot of printer ink. Don't you wish you had a stack like this person in the photo? We can't tell you everything that goes on into making our money because that, of course, would be a secret. Number 4. Security Measures In response to counterfeit operations such as North Korean supernotes, the U.S. has installed quite a few security measures. Plastic strips are found in high denomination bills, which all glow a certain color. If held under a UV light, the $5 bill should glow blue, the $10 bill should glow orange, the $20 bill should glow green the $50 yellow, and the $100 pink. There are also watermarks when you hold it up to the light that reveal the face of American heroes on the bills. Still, one of the best ways to make sure it's not counterfeit is by using a counterfeit pen. Number three, not all the guys were presidents. Saying the colloquial term dead presidents often refers to paper money, but not everyone featured on the cash were presidents. Of course, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Jackson, and Ulysses S. Grant were all presidents, but Benjamin Franklin and Andrew Hamilton never held a seat in office. Of course, they were very influential people in American history, but no one has to be a president in order to get put onto the money. Number 2. Money Weight Don't you wish you had a ton of money? Well, technically, you can't have a ton of money if you have $1 million broken down into ones. It would weigh about 2,205 pounds, so that would literally be a ton of money. $1 million in $100 bills weighs 22.05 pounds, and a million in 20s weighs approximately 110 pounds.5. Number 1. More Security Spending after the 9-11 attacks, President George Bush decides it's a good idea to create a new department of security in order to fight terrorism. We already got the FBI, National Guard, the CIA, the NSA, and now we need to spend more tax dollars on Homeland Security, just in case those guys can't already do their job. 
With a budget of $40 billion and 240,000 employees, you can tell there's some people out there getting paid pretty big salaries. There is a bunch documented on criticism towards this branch of government, claiming that they're ineffective, wasteful, and excessive. The department was blamed for wasting $2 billion in items unrelated to fighting terrorism. Their headquarters alone cost an estimated $4.1 billion. Now that's a lot of money.